Yeah, I think it's always worth going to uh, college or university to learn as much as you possibly can. Uh, you know, that whole process is incredibly valuable. Um, you know, I still use my college years. I did uh, a, a two year foundation followed by three years uh, theatre design. Um, and that five years was incredibly valuable and useful. And, uh, you know, just the basics in art and design and colour theory and things like that I use every single day. So, yeah, definitely go train. Um, and often you'll find if you're in training, it will make you develop your ideas about what you want to be. You, you know, not everyone knows exactly what kind of designer they want to be, you know, when they're 18. Uh, so, you know, the higher education gives you the opportunity to search around and maybe find out the answers. So the one piece of advice I would give to an aspiring costume designer is to remember to take time for themselves and their personal life. Because, you know, um, our work, it is very challenging to often find the balance, striking that right balance between personal life and work life. And I'm a believer that we work better when we are able to do things for ourselves. Luckily, I have been able to work with a slew of directors such as Sam Max, Alex Lehman, uh, Emma Seligman, TK McCammy on projects in which they have all agreed with me on uh, that, you know, that you should be able to have a separation between your work life and personal life because the film, the film industry, it is all consuming and incredibly demanding. And so you have to remember that if you take time for yourself, that is kind of the number one priority because our body and our minds are our instruments. And so in order to build a long career, you can't burn out first. So, yeah, another great question. And that question, I could probably sit for about five hours and tell you, you know, I, I think the most important thing to, again, you know, you look at how many shows are streaming right now. There's a lot more costume designers out there. And there's a lot more younger designers who are coming out there who don't have the experience, who are now given these great opportunities to be costume designers. I think the most important things that I would tell an inspiring new costume designer out there is stay strong, stay determined, stay passionate, stay humble, and always recognize and appreciate all the people around you who help you be where you are right now. Because, as I've mentioned before, it takes a small village to do what we do. And it's in recognizing every person from a PA to a prep costumer to the person who's uh, putting blood on a shirt for you. Do you know what I mean? To that person who's stitching that last stitch for you so that costume can get onto a truck and get ready to be put onto the, to a character, to an actor. All of this is important. And I think the day that you go into work and you're not passionate and you're not excited is the day that the job has, um, has taken has is no longer is no longer become your passion. It's no longer become something that you love. And I think costume designing is a job about creativity. It's about this huge dream inside your brain that's going and creating these characters. And again, you know, I mentioned being humble every day. Stay humble. Feel grateful for the opportunity that you've been given and always look out of the box and always give 250%. That's, those are my, probably my biggest things that I would tell someone because 
So that is how I feel each day. I still treat every job I go to as if it's, and my husband will tell you this too, is I treat it like a university project. I give my whole heart, my soul into that project and into each of those pieces because I care so much about the project, about every little bit and piece of it. And to walk out each day proud and to come home and say, oh my God, I can't believe I just did this today is an amazing feeling. And that's what I would have to say to upcoming designers. Just, you know, have that heart and soul and put it into your project. Um, I would say know who designed your movies. Like, like there are many jobs in, in costume design and in, in costumes, and it's sort of like a catch-22 in terms of like how you get in. Um, but what I have seen is like people who sort of like know who they're after, like if you have designers that you really like, um, you know, now you can message them, get their emails and sort of write them a little introduction to yourself um, uh, about who you are, that you want to get into the industry. Sometimes you start as a PA. Um, but for me, you know, um, you know, whatever job you do, even if it's the most boring or you you think it's like menial, you know, um, it, it's about like prepping you for the type of thought of a, a person that you're going to be in this industry. And for me, it's like, if you develop yourself to become sort of creative and um, a problem solver and very linear, that's when people in the industry really recognize uh, your talents and want to sort of promote you. The other thing I would say is be vocal about what you want to do. Like if you come into a department and you think that you want to be a costume designer or you want to be an ACD and that's your sort of 10 year goal, then you should be vocal because people around you will help you if you're uh, vocal about um, what you want but if you sort of keep everything inside uh people don't know and so they aren't able to lend you a hand or remember you when they're hiring um the other parts of it would be you know the practical parts of it was you know if you come into the industry um, and you got through the door by emailing and they hire you as a pa or whatever they hire you for for your department um that you don't have an ego um in terms of how you work because um you know, there's a difference between confidence and your abilities and ego. And I would say like in this industry, you, no one's ever too good to do anything. That's how I feel about my role. Like, even though I'm designing, like I'm not too good to organize a box of shoes. So everyone should sort of um, check their egos like at the door. Um, and as a person who, you know, if you're, if you want to be a designer or if you want to be an ACD in the industry or any other component, I would say you need to be, um, as yourself, as a person, um, for other people to see you is to engage with the world, to have, especially in costume design, to, to have interests other than just clothes, because uh, clothes is sort of a byproduct of society. So if you don't understand how culture and society and history interacts with that, then you won't be able to um, have the skills to sort of have people who, have people like promote you, you know? Um, and so I would say that those are the elements, but like, keep at it, be tenacious because, you know, I emailed Deborah McGuire who did friends for two years before she hired me. Um, and so you have to be able to know that, you know, like rejection is only temporary. If you just keep going at it, if you just kind of do forward motion, you will uh, get ahead in the industry, even if it feels like two steps back, one step forward.